Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about user session timeout, which is a special value that the server monitors to keep user sessions alive. And what user session timeout really means is the time that it takes for the user session to expire since the time of the very last API invocation. So for instance, suppose the user logs in and then makes some requests or uses your UI which makes the API request to the server and then there is a period of, of inactivity after which you want the session to log out the user so they have to log in again. How do you set the user session timeout in Backendless? Uh, well it's very easy to do this you would need to go to the users screen uh, and then here select login. You will see the section that is called enable session timeout which is disabled by default. Uh, you click the toggle to enable it and uh, to demonstrate how it works let's set the inactivity timeout which is the session timeout to be something small let's say 10 seconds. Uh, click enter now the value is accepted so for this application the session timeout is 10 seconds. To demonstrate how session timeout works I will switch to the data screen and I will switch to the rest console. So in rest console uh, we can log in a user and then any API requests made by REST console, they will carry the identity of that user through the session that is established. So let me demonstrate uh, how this works. So let's say we're going to log in a user and I have a user that is called batman at backendless.com. The password is password. Log in the user. So the user now is logged in. So any API calls I make within this uh, session is going to be on behalf of this user. So let's click get and we got the uh, result of that invocation. So now if I uh, let's say click get and let's count 10 seconds uh, to let the session expire. So I kind of started the timer that is here not on the screen and I'm going to wait for 10 seconds and at that point the session will expire. So any subsequent API request that I make, and now it's been about 10 seconds, let's make the API request. You see we got an error from the server that says not existing user token, relogin user to update your user token. So the error code is 3064 and this is exactly what happens when the user session has timed out and in fact the API call that you make, really any API call, will get this response when the user session times out. What you should do in your application in this case, pretty much for all API calls, this may happen anytime uh, depending on the user's uh, the session timeout that you established but your application needs to be ready to deal with this and when you get this call generally what your application should do is to redirect the user to the login screen so they can re-establish the identity and then uh, you can proceed to to make the API calls again. This is fairly standard practice for a lot of web and mobile applications. Uh, some developers decide to set a very high session timeout just because they 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 think and they feel like the 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 behavior to uh, redirect the user to the login screen may be somewhat annoying but for other applications it may make perfect sense but now you you know exactly how it works so um, I hope you found this useful and uh, I'm sure you will find a way to use this uh, in your applications thank you and as always happy coding